Hi everyone, Andy Ireland here. Um, I wanted to talk to you today uh, briefly about the imminent boundary review between Rockhampton Regional Council and Livingston Shire Council, in particular the three suburbs of Glenlea, Glendale and Rocky View. The Minister for Local Government, Racing and Multicultural Affairs has approved the boundary review to go ahead and we're expecting the Commissioner to arrive sometime early in 2021 to do that work. Livingston Shire Council is diametrically opposed to this for a number of reasons. First of all, um, Rockhampton Regional Council claim that there's a community of interest between these three suburbs and Rockhampton Regional Council. They argue that residents of this region um, work in Rockhampton, therefore we, they use Rockhampton Regional Council roads to get to work. They shop in uh, Rockhampton, they send their kids to school there, they use their libraries, swimming pools, parks, etc. to the point where um, they allege that it costs Rockhampton Regional Council approximately $5 million per year. We don't know where that number comes from. But for every argument, there's always a counter-argument. So from our perspective, on the weekends and also during the week, residents of Rockhampton come to the caves, they go to the coast, they use our boat ramps, they use our beaches, they use our lagoon, our parks, our kraken, a lot of our facilities. But is Livingston saying to Rockhampton Regional Council, we want some of your suburbs? No, we're not. And that is simply because there's a, an understanding between local governments that that transfer quite often happens. And for a claim to be made to take suburbs back into another local government uh, on that basis um, makes no sense. We're also facing um, a number of financial stresses if this happens. Our economic analysis has uh, shown that we will be unviable for the next 10 years and beyond if Glenlee, Glendale and Rocky View are transferred to Rockhampton. We lose essentially 7% of our rates base. Now you mightn't think that's a lot, but when you compound that with the fact that 33% of the land mass of our shire now belongs to the Australian Defence Force around Shoalwater Bay and they're continually buying up cattle properties up in that part of our shire, the ADF don't pay rates. And so at the moment we're losing approximately $1 million per year in rates revenue that we previously had. So the combination of losing Glenlee, Glendale and Rocky View, namely 7% of our rates base, plus a million dollars from the ADF every year, means that we will be unviable going forward. So that's a significant impact from us, or on, on us. Finally, um, I would just like to say we are launching uh, a series of surveys to get your view. Now the residents of Glenlee, Glendale and Rocky View uh, obviously deserve to have a say and they believe they are the only ones that really have or should have a say in this matter. Well as councillors and as Mayor of Livingston Shire Council, our responsibility is to the whole of the Shire and the negative impact financially is on the whole of the Shire, not just on those three suburbs. So hence we're asking all of the Shire to have a say on this, not just the residents of those three suburbs. I apologise to them if that's offensive, it's not meant to be, but Council's interest is to look after all of the Shire, not just three suburbs. So um, essentially we're opposed to this uh, and we will fight this tooth and nail because we are one Shire. These three suburbs have been part of Livingston Shire Council uh, for all of our 117 years apart from the years of amalgamation. So it's our community and we want to retain it. Have a great day.